afternoon, 47. Your target is Richard M. Foreman, a skilled infiltrator believed to be working with the militia on an unknown operation on US soil. The target is a highly skilled actor, and our files link him with a successful impersonation of billionaire Charles Vanderblatt, where he siphoned hundreds of millions out of the Vanderblatt accounts over the course of three weeks. The contract has two objectives, identifying and eliminating the target in an apparently accidental death such as a fall or drowning. Secondly, uncover files or data about the operation being planned. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Chameleon Elusive Target. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and throughout this video I'll be showing three methods and all of them will include different sort of equipment. So the first method is going to be using the lethal syringe and the camera tranquilizer pistol. If you don't have those items you can refer to the second method if you prefer that. I'm going to be using the electrocution foam for that one which is the fail proof method by the way because it's very very easy to follow if you have that if you have the other electrocution phone. And for the third method I'll be using just a lock pick and that is all the equipment I'm going to be using apart from a coin. And, and that is it. So if you have no equipment, you have none of these items, then to refer to method three, and that will help you out straight away. So for the first method, though, I'm going to be using the modern lethal syringe, the lockpick, and the tranquilizer. And we're going to start in the default location. I'm going to have the tranquilizer stored in the southern farmhouse too. If you want to unlock the modern lethal syringe, it's mastery level five on Isle of Scale, and it's mastery level two on Sapienza. If you want to unlock the trank, it's uh, you need to, we need to complete three mission stories on uh, Whittleton Creek. And that's how you get those items. So from the start, we're going to grab, drag the, grab the trank out of the briefcase, grab the briefcase itself and the coin next to it. I'm going to go over to this generator and turn it off. And as soon as you get the prompt, turn it back on. And then we're going to hide behind this little wall. The guard's going to come and we're going to knock him out, pick up his weapon and drag his body to the crate and grab his disguise. So for those of you who are wondering how to get the electrocution phone as well, you have to complete three mission stories in New York forgot to mention that a little bit earlier so we we'll grab that rifle from the floor there that the guard drops and we're just going to drag his body to this crate and like i said dump him in there and then grab his disguise once we've grabbed his disguise we're going to go and put uh, grab the uh, briefcase that we dropped on the floor earlier as well we're going to use this briefcase as a distractional device a little bit later on so we're going to head to the house and head towards the disguise. So, the reason why I did um, I decided to do three methods is because I wanted to. Everyone's going to have a multitude of different uh, items, right? So not everyone's going to have the same one. So usually I would just do a basic um, mastery level one method, and that was it. But there is people asking, saying, "What if you have the better equipment? Would it be easier?" And the answer is yes, it would be. So that's why I decided to do this, this sort of thing. Now the electrocution phone is very very useful, but not everyone's going to have that, so that's why I did this method. And if you don't have these items, I decided to do a method without it, so it's catering for everybody, so hopefully this is uh, alright for you guys. So we ran over to this trailer and grabbed that disguise there. You, you may look like you're about to get spotted, but don't worry about it, you won't 100% time that you don't get spotted there. As you enter the building, watch out for the camera on the top left, enter the room to the left and turn off the server. What that's going to do is distract the hacker from upstairs to come downstairs. Now on the halfway up the stairs, you want to go ahead and drop your briefcase on the staircase. That's going to, uh, going to cause a little bit further delay for the hacker a little bit later on. Pull out your tranquilizer at this point and wait for the hacker to go in that other room to the right. And then the guard is going to leave this room. And this is the time where we get into this position right here behind the target. I'm going to shoot this hacker, reload our weapon real quick, pull out our syringe and then syringe the target. Pull out your uh, tranquilizer again and, and, and take out the guard in the landing. But if you heard the commotion, wait for him to come in the room and then syringe him in the back. Once you've done that, go ahead and use the, uh, the laptop. And that's two objectives taken care of. So we're going to use the 3D printer now. And once the mask has been printed, we are going to head downstairs, use the lockpick on the door in the basement and head out there. The hacker is on his way up now, but because everyone's been uh, tranked and poison killed, you don't have to worry about uh, him causing too much panic. When you lockpick this door though, just make sure no one's looking at you at the time. There is a guard down in the basement too as well, so just be wary of him. You can go in and knock him out if you want to, or cause a distraction, it's entirely up to you. Or you can just risk it for the biscuit. 
with that coin we picked up earlier, I'm going to use that. Just get them to turn around. Use the mask on the door. If you've already completed Colorado, the main mission, the main uh, in in regular mission, then you should be able to use any exit. But I chose this one because I think it's a lot more safer than going outside and dealing with the cameras. So that was the first method. So the second method we're going to be using the electrocution phone, and that's pretty much it. We're going to start from the very uh, very uh, default location from level one location, which is the southern farmhouse, and that is it. That's all we're going to need. Personally, out of all the three methods that I've done here. I think this one is the best one because it's definitely the easiest. If you have the electrocution phone, this is by far the most easiest method, method there is. So, from the start there, we grab that coin. We don't necessarily need to, but we grab that coin anyway. We're going to turn off this generator. Again, turn it back on. We also did this in the previous method as well, if you haven't been following. And what we're actually going to do is wait for the guard to come. And uh, he's going to check the generator, but we, what we're going to do is knock him out. Once we've done that, we're just going to grab the rifle that he drops on the floor and drag his body to the crate on the opposite side. Once we've dumped his body in the crate, we're going to go ahead and put his disguise on and then head towards the house itself. Alright, so all we've got to do now is go uh, to the other side. There's going to be a trailer near the house. We're going to go and put that disguise on to get inside the house because we can't actually enter the house with the specific disguise on. So we're going to need to acquire ourselves that. But I think this method, I don't even think we knock anybody out during this method. Which is uh, the reason why I like it. Because it's kind of like in and out kind of thing, you know. But not everyone's going to have the electrocution phone, which I understand that. Which is exactly why I did other methods too. But uh, if you have the New York, the bank mission, I recommend you unlock this as soon as you can. You just need to, All you need to do is complete three mission stories, that's it. In New York, that is. So once we grab that disguise there, we're going to go and head into the house. Now, I know it looks like that you're about to get spotted there, but I assure you, you don't get spotted ever. It's just one of them things. Avoid the camera as you enter the building. Enter the building to the left and turn off the server. This is going to draw the hacker from upstairs to downstairs to check the server and turn it back on. This just leaves us one man down upstairs. There's going to be an enforcer on the landing, so just watch out for him. So we're not actually knocking anyone out, we're just going to work around everyone's scripted movements. So this hack is going to enter the other building, other side of the uh, room. There's a laptop right in front of you, you can use it now and take out the ejected, or you can use it after, it's up to you. But I'd recommend just doing it now to get out of the way. There's no way this is going to be, there's no way this is going to mess up anyway. Pull out your uh, electrocution phone and place it on the desk. You can do that on PS4 by using L1 and R1, and then placing it or LB and RB if you're on Xbox. Now we're going to head downstairs. We're not going to use the phone yet. We're going to enter this uh, room right here. And then we're going to circle around the room, around the back, and out the window on the other, other side, just to avoid the cameras. We're going to exit through this fence, and then head outside. And to your right, this is going to be your exit. Activate the phone right now, and the target will pick up the phone. He will electrocute himself, and you'll immediately be able to escape. I didn't actually mean to end this mission. I wanted to just restart just like I did in the previous method. However, uh, I was a bit of a derp and just exited the mission straight away. So I mean, I had to swap a different account, which is sad, unfortunately. But that is how an easy sight and assassin method. The easiest sight and assassin method, in my opinion. And it's my favorite run out of the three. But uh, let me show you how to do method three without any equipment. So for method three, all we're going to need is the lockpick, and that is pretty much it. We are still going to need our coins, however, but that is a default item. You can unlock the lockpick by just completing mastery, getting into mastery level two on Miami, or just completing the training. It's just that simple, really. But um, this is an easy method too, as well. So I'm not making any hard methods here. So we're going to turn off the generator, and then as soon as you get the prompt, turn it back on. If you've been following me throughout the entire video now, you're probably uh, going to start laughing at things because I'm going to keep repeating myself, but. I need to uh, <laughs> I need to say these as if you're watching it for the first time, you know. So once you, the guard comes over to investigate, we're going to go ahead and subdue him. We are going to pick up the rifle that he dropped on the floor and drag his body to the opposite side and dump him in the crate. Once we've dumped him in the crate, we're going to go ahead and grab his disguise and head towards the house itself. 
So if you've never played Colorado before, this is basically the, the key of you getting this elusive target nice and easily. We don't even need a syringe or any kind of accidental thing like that. We're literally just going to use the environment to our advantage. This is, an, this is another one of my favorites, really. I think the second, the second method, I think, is the best one. If you have the electrocution phone, of course, because we're not actually uh, subduing anybody in the house. And the third method, I think, is a nice one as well, to be honest. The first method is, is actually the first method is for people that have the trank and the, the syringe and all that kind of stuff. But it's completely up to you. Once we're head over here, we're headed, heading over to the trailer. We're just going to grab this disguise. It may look like you're about to get spotted, but don't worry about it. You never do. It's just a visual thing. In any other situation, you'd get spotted putting on the disguise there. As you enter the building, just watch out for the camera in the top left corner. And we're going to head up the stairs. Watch out for the guy that's going to be an enforcer up here on the landing. We're going to pull out our coin right now and just throw a coin right in this corner right here next to this can. I'm going to lockpick the door into the bathroom. Because that's where we're going to store some bodies. We're going to be knocking out everybody up here. First one is going to be the hacker. So we're going to knock out this hacker first. If you're wondering if the hacker disguise is a better disguise than you've got on, the answer is no, it's not. So you're better off just sticking with this disguise. Drag the hacker into this uh, little room right here. And then throw a second coin at the same spot on the corner here. That's going to distract the second hacker. These guys aren't enforcers, so it's good you can get around them like this. Once you've subdued him, do the same thing as you did with the previous hacker and hide him in the bathroom too. Got one more person to knock out and that's going to be the guard himself, so... He's going to be guarding the door momentarily, so what we're going to do is just throw a coin next to this little uh, table right here. I'm just going to hide here for a second. Our target himself is going to be walking out towards the balcony. He actually heard that coin throw. So that's why he's standing still right now, I think. But he does go out to the balcony. We're just going to wait for this guard to have his back turned to us because he is an enforcer. So as soon as he turns around, quickly get behind him and go ahead and subdue him. You can leave his body here. Uh, no one else comes up here, so you don't need to worry about it. Quickly go to the balcony and push him over the ledge. So there's your accident kill. And all we need to do now is uh, turn on this 3D printer to print out the mask. Go around the other side, use the laptop to hack the, the laptop. That's two objectives down. Grab the mask. Head downstairs. Just watch out for the enforcer outside that's checking on that body. You can see through your disguise, so just watch out for him. And make sure no one's looking at you while you're lockpicking this door. You don't want to get spotted in this, at this point. There's going to be a guard down in this basement as well, so you can either subdue him or distract him with a coin. It's entirely up to you. I decided to just be safe and just uh, subdue him from over cover like this. So you get into cover behind the desk and then you can just uh, push the subdue button to pull him over like that. I'm going to use the mask on the door and then escape and it's just literally that easy. So once we've escaped right here, we get a nice easy silent assassin. So if you have no equipment, that is the best method, method, method for you. It might even be the best method, even if you have some of the equipment I've already shown. It's entirely up to you which method you use. I thought I'd give you an array of uh, different methods for, uh, at your, for your pleasure, really. Just in case you didn't have all the other equipments and stuff. But once you've completed this mission, you'll unlock the tactical gear with a hunter's hat as well. So that's a nice little bonus right there. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And a big shout out to RGL for being the top member of the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you want to become a member, just click the join button below or the link in the description. And consider supporting me on Patreon and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Um, follow me on Twitter, add me on Discord, add me on Snapchat and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.